What's up guys today's video is on the top 3 best DSLR cameras in 2025. Through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers so whether it's price performance or its particular use we've got you covered. For more information on the products I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Now let's get started. Number 3 Nikon D780 we hear a lot of talk about the death of the DSLR and the unstoppable rise of mirrorless. But DSLRs remain the best choice for many photographers, particularly those who have existing lenses or honed their craft with optical viewfinders, and the D780 is one of the best full-frame options around. It combines great image quality, a weatherproof build, superb battery life and modern autofocus skills. It's a shame there's no in-body image stabilization and it's currently pretty pricey, but the D780 is otherwise a superb all-round DSLR. The Nikon D780 is perhaps the best example yet of a DSLR reinventing itself for the mirrorless age. It's a very traditional-looking full-frame camera with an optical viewfinder. You get a sturdy, magnesium alloy body that's resistant to both dust and water, along with a satisfyingly chunky grip. The big range of dials and buttons also have lots of room to breathe. There's not a huge amount of difference between this and the D750. The D780 has been designed to be a good all-rounder, appealing to a broad cross-section of photographers. Keen amateurs are perhaps the main target audience. At its heart is a back-illuminated 24.5MP full-frame sensor which is matched with the latest Xpeed 6 image processor, this is the same combination you'll find inside its mirrorless relative, the Nikon Z6. Other interesting specifications include up to 12 frames per second shooting, in-camera charging via USB, and 4K video recording. The D780 uses two different autofocus systems, depending on whether you're shooting through the viewfinder or via the screen. We were confident that image quality from the D780 would be good, considering the sensor seems to be the same, or very similar, to that found in the Z6. It also shares some other specifications with that camera, such as the same processor, same metering system and the same 273A point on sensor phase detection AF system. If you prefer the DSLR shooting experience to mirrorless cameras, then the Nikon D780 is a fantastic full-frame all-rounder with big appeal. Number 2 Canon EOS 90D If you still prefer DSLRs to mirrorless cameras, there's a lot to like about the Canon EOS 90D, it's a feature-packed DSLR with a high-resolution sensor and speedy, smooth performance. Its deeper grip, another benefit over mirrorless rivals, makes it comfortable to use for long periods, while the impressive battery life is a boon too. For those who already have Canon glass or are unwilling to make the move to the mirrorless, this snapper is a formidable all-round option. When it comes to focus points, the new camera shares the ATDS 45-point cross-type AF system. However, a new 220,000 pixel RGB plus IR metering sensor adds face detection when using the camera's viewfinder and can be called upon for both stills and video. Face detect is available automatically when using the 90DS intelligent tracking and recognition autofocus feature. The EOS 90D is a fraction wider than the 80D but is shorter and thinner. The new camera is also a tad lighter than its predecessor, weighing in at 701G, with battery and SD card, compared to the 80D at 730G. It's unlikely you'll feel much of a difference. The most impressive feature of the 90D is its new 216 zone metering system that gathers data from an RGB and infrared sensor that has a staggering 220,000 pixels. Each of the 216 sections is assessed for exposure, doing a great job of adjusting the brightness of the whole frame. The main difference between an entry-level camera and an enthusiast grade 1 is versatility. The latter let you shoot in a wider variety of conditions, with finer levels of control, without ever becoming too complex or expensive. Like its predecessor, the Canon EOS 90D again does a fantastic job of delivering on that score. Number 1 Nikon D850 the Nikon D850 offers the best of all worlds, extreme resolution, fantastic image quality, fast shooting, and an exceptional build. It's our favorite pro DSLR. The Nikon D850 is built around a full-frame sensor with a huge 45.7 million pixel count. 
But it isn't just about the pixels. The camera boasts Nikon's latest autofocus system and can shoot at a steady 7 frames per second, boosted to 9 frames per second if you add the optional grip, all while tracking moving action. It shoots 4K videos and time lapses, offers a tilting touch LCD, and can transfer images wirelessly. It's an outstanding performer, backed by Nikon's extensive lens library, accessory system, and support network. That doesn't mean it's absolutely perfect, we've got a few complaints here and there, but it's the best in its class. The D850 follows the same basic design paradigm as the D810 and other models before it. It's a traditional SLR without a built-in vertical shooting grip, with a body design that's about the same size, 4.9 x 5.8 x 3.1 inches HWD, and weight, 2 pounds, as its predecessor. The portion of the body between the grip and lens mount is a bit slimmer, which gives the grip a deeper feel, without having it jut further out from the camera. Because of this, the D850 feels just a bit more comfortable in the hand, improving on the D810's excellent ergonomic design. The D850 is a high-resolution monster, but also a speedy performer. It starts, focuses, and fires in a little less than 0.3 second, so your ability to grab an unexpected shot is only limited by the speed at which you can bring the viewfinder to your eye. Focus speed is quick as well, in bright light there's just a 0.05 second delay between pressing the shutter and capturing a crisp image. Thanks for watching. Like the video and don't forget to subscribe.